you need to report to your captain or sergeant or whatever it is you have around here that your buddy over there just bought beer on duty in uniform. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here today playing Market Tycoon. I have had this kicking around in my library for ages and ages, about a million years ago in YouTube time, which is about a couple of years in real world time. I watched Penge at the Geek Cupboard play it on his channel. I thought, well, that's exactly the sort of game that I like. I might kind of grab that and check it out and keep an eye on it. And then years later, here we are. I'm finally playing Market Tycoon. Now, if I've been very, very clever, I've left a link to Penge's play of it down below. So if you want to check out him playing it, go ahead and do that there. We are just going to dive right into Market Tycoon, still in early access, as you can see there. So we're not going to expect it to be perfect or bug-free or even finished at this point. In fact, the only thing we can do is sandbox mode. There is no career mode right now. So we're going to dive right into some sandbox of Market Tycoon and see what we got. I've got three different options for sandbox. I can do mini market, which is obviously a very, very small building and what we're seeing on the load screen right now, a small market, which might be more appealing or the mega supermarket. Holy moly, that's a lot of space. How about we just kept it normal, normal, normal like we do on the channel here. Let's just do the medium one. Let's do a small market. It's going to cost me not a small amount of money to rent this thing, 3500 a month. And there's an electricity cost to all this too. It's going to service one neighborhood. Okay, sure. Yeah, let's do some market tycoon. Now, I have done the tutorial of Market Tycoon two or three times, actually, as I keep installing and uninstalling it in my library. But I think it might be an idea if I kind of refreshed my own memory. So, yes, I will learn the basics. I think we can skip movement. I know how movement works. I don't, actually. I'm just going to largely move my mouse around and click things and hope for the best. Let's add some object objects. Yeah, absolutely. Let's do a cashier. Yeah, we want the monies. Right. Okay, pay attention to the power consumption. Okay, will do. Well, I've got a few options here. I've got the basic one. I've got the slightly less basic one. And then the more upgradable ones. Well, what's your power? 150 watts. And you're 80. Well, that is quite a difference, isn't it? How about we split the difference here? Said ooh, 100 watts and I can change the color. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We're doing that. Uh, let's get that in a nice, yeah, deep red. There we go. I do like my deep reds. All right, where are we going to put you? We should put you uh, by the... Wait, where is my... Where is my door? How, how, do I, how do we get in and out of here? Never mind. We're going to put this thing sort of right in the middle here. There we go. Search for some employees. Hello, employees. Anyone? Anyone want to come work for me? Isabella, Oliver, Zoe, Thomas. Oh my goodness, a whole bunch of people want to work here. Are any of you better than the others? Probably. You've got some experience. You've actually worked a cashier spot before. You get speed of eight. You have an about the same amount of experience, but you're very, very slow, Victoria. Uh, go back to, uh, actually, go back to Madison. I think Madison might be the winner here. Oh, hang on. Madison Mark II his 70 experience and a speed of eight. You're going to cost me 750 a month. Okay, we're selling like bread and potato chips here. Am I going to be able to make that kind of money? I'm going to hire you because you seem pretty good. Let's place a rack. Oh yeah, let's build things. Okay, racks. Yeah, absolutely. All right, what do we do here? All sorts of racks. Let's get something basic here. I only got the one color. That's unfortunate, but there it is. Uh, let's do... How about this lived, I don't know, like like this? Is that is that a sensible spot for that? I'm going to put this one over here for right now because I'm very undecided. Okay, let's add an item. Great. There, oh, there's my door. Okay, that's how my door works. Uh, Madison, hi. We don't, we don't actually sell anything yet, Madison. If you want to chip in on purchasing and sales and that kind of thing, maybe do some marketing, Madison. Maybe go out and say, hey, there's a new grocery store opening up soon, um, and it's going to it's going to sell something in here. I mean, my first instinct is bacon, but bacon at room temperature is probably probably not okay. How about we narrowed it down to fruit and vegetables? Because the rack I bought looks like a fruit and vegetable stand. 
All right. Well, fruit and veg, fine. How about we took something super, super basic, like an apple? All right, it will spend, I would assume, at, at room temperature. Am I looking at a room temperature thing here? This is obviously a refrigerator and then frozen. So it's got to be room temperature, refrigerated, frozen. So it'll last three weeks. That's not bad. That's not bad for an apple. In fact, that's largely optimistic for an apple. I'm going to buy it at 25. I'm going to sell it at 80. Fair enough. All right, I'm going to get some apples and then, ooh, yeah, that looks good. I'm going to put them right in the middle. I want, I want different things, though. Let's add bananas to the party. Let's get those guys. Come, yeah, right down in there. Okay, get out of that and then get me something else. Apples, bananas, and honeydew melons. Ooh, now, those are pricey. And they're only going to last a week. Wait, I should have looked at the bananas. Bananas are only going to last a week. All right, what have you got that might last a little bit longer? My God, garlic will last forever. Are people going to be really, like, busting down the door for garlic, though? Probably not. Kiwis last a while. No, they don't. They go wicked soft really fast. I have a penchant for kiwis. I know exactly how long kiwis last. And it ain't that long. Not at room temperature, anyway. Uh, we have no idea how popular they're going to be, but I'm going to put them up anyway. Wow, that's um, that's a very delicately balanced stack of ki one kiwi out of place, and that whole thing is going to come tumbling down. Okay, Madison, it's getting wicked exciting around here. All right, we're doing bananas, apples, and... Please don't upset the kiwi stack, but I need to actually physically get them, which means we need to buy a truck. All right, let's get, yeah, sure, a truck. Can I change the color on this? No, wait, why would I change the color? I love the color of that. $11,000 for the truck. That's actually a pretty good deal. I mean, I'm assuming it's not new. I'm assuming it's pre-owned, as they say. Gently owned. I got 27 k It's like half my money right here, almost. And it's going to cost me 13 every time... I take a trip, and the max I can do is eight boxes in there. I dispute that. That's a pretty beefy pickup truck. I can do more than eight boxes in that. But here we go. We're going to buy the truck. I believe I have to wait for the truck to actually arrive. Uh, is that going to come pretty soon? Are right, you telling me to hire a stock associate? Yeah, we'll do that. I would like to hire somebody to stack those Kiwis very, very delicately. Here comes my truck. And it's going to cost me 50 bucks to search for employees. Can we just ask Madison if she's got any good referrals? All right, Sarah, uh, experience a little speed. Ah, Roman. Roman, Roman, Roman. Seven experience, eight speed. That's got to be good. 1200 a month. Actually, that's very, very fair. In fact, that's probably below poverty wages. And now I just send you out and you already know what to buy. You're going to go off and do it. And I believe when you come back you are going to stock everything up. In the meantime, before we've actually got any product, we're being told to mess with the prices here. Okay, we could do that. Not a lot, actually. Uh, wait, 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 who are you? Are you, hang on, hang on, I'll come back to prices in a sec. Who are you? Oh, you're Roman. Are you Roman? Are you roaming around stocking my shelves? Ha <laughs> ha, see what I did there? Okay, I'll shut up now. I can't go back into the price change thing until I've gone through Tutorial Ninja here. So you'd like me to manage my employees. Uh, Robert and Roman. Wait, Robert, did you? I thought you were Madison. I, you know what, Robert, Madison, however you identify, that's fine with me. Uh, just as so long as you do your job, that's really all I care about. I could train you a little bit. I could assign you to what? Oh, any cashier spot. Okay, so if I had multiples... I could assign people to different ones. Okay, that's fair. Uh, we don't need to do that. No, we don't need to do that either. Here comes Roman. Oh, Roman, my man. Work on those apples. There you go. Throw those apples in there. All righty. Now go get the kiwis. It's a very delicate operation. Roman, I'm already pleased with your work. And to get out of Tutorial Ninja, I've got I've to do something with you. So I'm making that go away. There we go. Finance. I bet I'm hemorrhaging money. Yeah, I spent 12000 well, 11,000 of that was the truck. That's not bad. And now I'm done with Tutorial Ninja. Fantastic. All right, we have we have a store that I believe is technically open. Um and we sell just some fruit, just a little bit of fruit. Yeah, be very careful with that Roman. Like super super careful, man. Well, let's get some more of this nonsense going on then. How about we got some more of these racks because these were very good and they'll get two of those. Uh, yeah, another one? Yes, another one. 
Uh, let's get one more of those right in there. Okay, what are we going to put on that? More fruits and veg would probably be the idea. Uh, let's get, no, no, don't, don't duplicate things. That was a terrible idea. Uh, let's get, no, no, let's not do that either. Uh, that was also a terrible idea. Let's actually get some stuff. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Lemons and limes. Those will last for ages. Let's put some lemons down in there and then limes right above it. Give me back to, yeah, these will keep for ages and they look pretty too. All right. What else we got? What else can we put in there? Lemons, limes. What goes with lemons and limes? Uh, honeydew again, those go bad in a week. Leeks, do people like that sort of thing? Well, they go bad very quickly, so probably not. I can get a good bit of life out of mangoes. It's a week, that's not too bad. Onions, however, five weeks for onions, and they look awesome. I'm going to put those guys over there. I know we don't technically have any of these yet. i got to send Roman off to the supply house or something. Pears, get a week out of pears. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, get some of those in there. Fine. And then, uh, Roman, don't don't go anywhere yet. I got more stuff for you, man. Oh, potatoes. Those will last for ages. Let's get some potatoes in there. And then one last thing to flesh it out here. And then if anything like starts selling really, really well, I might just dedicate more space to it. But right now, eight days on watermelon? Yeah, I th think that's pretty good. I could take a week on tomatoes. No, let's just get uh, watermelons in there. Okay. All right. That's that's all set. I got to send Roman off. Hang on. Nobody's actually purchased anything yet, but Roman, go off and get that stuff. We are we are open, right? Oh, yeah, we're open. This lady just came in. What, what are you getting? What are you getting? Can I see? Can I see what you're getting? No, I can't. Um, what, what did you get? Did you get like a, an apple or something? Well, whatever it is, we made 80 cents for it. Are you happy about your apple? Could you buy more? Well, we may as well get some more stuff coming in and let me theme it with the red that we're doing here. So let's get these racks. I want these to be kind of like right by the front door, sort of, sort of. So get me ooh, one of those. No, I, I, what do you mean it's not allowed to be placed there? What are you talking about? Oh, it must be too close to the door. Okay, it must be. Um, oh, hi. Hi, hello. Uh, you're apparently a private detective and you're on a case. And you're probably doing a stakeout, and you need some fresh fruit to get you through the stakeout. Good luck with your case. I hope you solve the murder. I'm going to do three racks right there, right by the door. People can come in and get whatever it is they want. Hi, welcome. Um, You, let's get off of fruits and veg. How about we did snacks? Okay, I like the idea of that. Cheese chips, cheddar cheese chips, and these are going to last a while too. That's the thing. These are going to last for ages. What else can you show me in here? Uh, like condiments, chocolate syrup. Is there that big a demand for it that I need a whole rack of it? Probably not. Beverages. That would probably be good. Beer. Everybody likes beer, right? Oh, let's get, yeah, let's get one rack of this to be just beverages. Okay, so a big water bottle. That's going to live right there. And then... Well, more stuff. How about the uh, the soda, the cola here? That could live there. And then more. Uh, are we going all beer? Maybe. Maybe. We'll think about that. How about some cola soda, which is apparently completely different from cola? Uh, let's stack that very delicately up there. Roman, you're doing an awesome job, man. Uh, probably work on your posture a little bit, though, dude. Because you're young now, but I tell you what, later on, that posture is not going to do you any favors. You're going to have back problems. Stand up straight. And then in the next one, we could do snacks. So some chips down here and maybe some barbecue chips. Everybody likes barbecue chips, right? So you're going to walk in the door and you're going to see your impulse items immediately. Chips and soda. Uh, probably not the fudgesicles because we're going to need a freezer for that. I can freeze cookies. No, no, I can't because it says I can't. But I theoretically could freeze cookies. No, I can't. Anyway, I shouldn't freeze cookies. Let's get some cheese crackers in here. All right. Everyone's going for the fruit and veg. It's a very healthy town so far. I think you bought a lime. A solitary lime. Do you have scurvy? All right. So a rack of snacks, a rack of beverages. What would go with that? I don't know. Oh, household essentials. Oh, I didn't even see any of this. Automotive. Oh, there's nothing in it. Darn it. Oh, uh, darn it, early access. This sounds really, really cool. All right, well, we're stuck with food then. Um, maybe we go back to beverages. Let's do some different beverages over here. How about, 
I should probably refrigerate some of this stuff. Uh, but apparently beer will sit here for seven months at room temperature without getting skunky. So sure. Uh, and then beer packs. Let's put those in there. And then are we um, Madison and or Robert, you're going to have to start carding people just as a heads up there. And then what else could we put? Is there anything that would go with beer? Not really. Oh, white wine. Oh, sure. Yeah, absolutely. We're very chic now. We're doing white wine. All right, Roman, when you get a chance, can you go get the rest of that stuff, please? I know it's I know I'm putting a lot on your plate, man. Madison slash Robert doesn't really have to do much, but you're the one who's doing all the heavy lifting around here. I didn't actually see what you bought. Oh, you bought some bananas. That's a very healthy choice for you. Oh, I like you. You bought a watermelon and a lime. Uh, you're buying multiple stuff here. Yeah, Roman is having a hard time keeping up. Uh, he's off at the supply house now getting beer. Uh, don't, uh, no, on the way back, no. I want to see everything that I paid for, Roman, coming back to the shop here. I don't want to see any missing bottles. All right, yeah, there you go. Actually, I think you're stocking up the, you're stocking up the chips. Good, good. Okay, there's some uh, crackers and stuff that we did there. All right, let me just wait till Roman's kind of finished with everything here. Now, the bananas are doing real, real well here. How do I... Auto restock. No, I would like to auto restock when empty, when a quarter is remaining, when a third, when a half is remaining. That sounds really, really good. And let's do the same thing with that. So when there is less than half of this left, we will automatically restock it. I believe that's what I'm doing there because the bananas seem to be going over very well. And I think you just bought some apples too. Uh, well, we made a little bit of money there. $1.60. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, what do you make, Robert slash Madison? Because I don't, I don't think we can pay you. Oh, oh, the cops are here. The cops are here. Okay, um, give him, give him like a. Did you just buy beer? Did that cop just buy beer in uniform? There's another one. Uh, you're okay. You're getting a watermelon, I think. So that that's fine. That's fine. But uh, hang on, hang on. You come here. You need to report to your captain or sergeant or whatever it is you have around here that your buddy over there just bought beer on duty in uniform oh this guy's going nuts he bought some soda he bought some chips a banana i think he grabbed a watermelon over here all right so yeah more variety the better that just makes very obvious sense oh, roman's still lagging behind here roman i'd love to hire somebody for you but i'm not because i'm not sure i can afford to give out paychecks this week uh, you only got, yeah, you got, you spent 80 cents in here. 80 cents. All right. The bananas are doing pretty well. Pretty well. Let me look at those. Uh, let me look at, well, where are my bananas? Where are my bananas? Where are my bananas? Oh, there they are. Okay. So what if we did, let's see, we're getting, well, hang on, hang on, Dave, slow down. Because you can see what the sales are here too. And indeed, you're kind of correct. The, ban the bananas are doing very well. They seem to be selling quite well, as are the apples. Now, a lot of this stuff we just put on the shelf. Wow, the watermelons are doing well. No, they're not, actually, because it's $6 for a watermelon. We've sold one. We've sold one watermelon. So bananas, we're, yeah, let's get a little bit more money for the bananas and the apples. Not a lot. Not a lot. That's the basis of a variety grocery store like this. It's volume, not price. There you go, Roman. Good job, man. And let's set up those auto restocks on these as well. Make sure Roman is on the case with the restocking. So get all of that in there. And then let's do the same on these. That just seems sensible. If there's less than half, go ahead and order some more and stock it up. That being said... Do you need to go get stuff? Yeah, go get things, Roman. Go go earn your keep around here. Lord knows Madison Robert isn't. Ah, now you, you just bought one of my slightly more expensive apples. Wow, you're going crazy. You got a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, slow it down a little bit there. Let's get some more things. This seems to be going okay. Let's add a freezer unit. I think that'd be fun. Now this is probably gonna cost me, yeah, 300 watts in electricity. I'm not surprised, it's a freezer. But I think this will be fun. Let's do... I'd actually love to get this right by the door. Total impulse item here. So could we put this maybe in the corner? We totally can. All right, there's my door right there. Ah, I don't like that. I don't like, I want to move that. I don't like that right by the window there. That, that doesn't work for me aesthetically. Right there works, though. Yeah, we could put that right there. Okay. 
Now, what do we get to what do we get to put in here? Ice cream. Obviously, that just it says ice cream right on it. How am I not going to buy ice cream? Uh, do you have a frozen section? Breakfast, baking, beverages, dairy? Not baby milk. No, we're not putting that in there. Do you not have uh I would I would think you'd have a frozen section. Well, let's go to snacks because it's probably good. There we go. Fudge sickles. There's my ice cream. There's my ice cream. Okay, how many of these things can we hold in here? Looks like just maybe two. Oh, we're going to have to get way more than that. All right, uh, where was the um, Fudge's Coals creamy, creamy buns? Creamy buns, you say? Yeah, we're not buying those. How, oh, ice cream cookie. That is not an ice cream cookie. That is a very, very copyrighted image game. You should watch out for that because I know exactly what that is. But we'll get it anyway. Okay, wow, you are taking your game in your hands here with that image. Can there you go. Can you get in there? There you go. Uh, can we can we get anything else in there? I can't really tell. I don't think so. I think it's just two. I'm gonna get another one of those. Those are those things are awesome. Give me another object and another one of these. Yes, please. We're getting ice cream all day around here. I'll send Roman out to get it in a sec. I want to move this. I know exactly how I want this to go. I want this to be one. I don't want to mess with pathing, early access and all. One here. And then I want to move this. Can I get this to go back to back with this? Yes, that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay, more ice cream. All right, let's get an ice cream sandwich thing. Oh, wait, I can get more in here. How is this? It's a little tricky to see exactly how these fit. Can we? All right, those can live in there. That's fine. It'll, it'll all, Roman will sort it all out. He's in charge of stock. And then what else have you got? Show me something like... Sure, strawberry ice cream. Who doesn't like that? Um, actually, I'm not that crazy about strawberry ice cream. I mean, I'll eat it in a pinch. I'm not gonna. It's not like I'm gonna not eat ice cream. Um, but I would actually prefer chocolate and or vanilla. Let's put vanilla in there because everybody likes that. All right, so you can kind of squeeze two of those tubs side by side there. I'm, out, I'm actually somewhat inclined. Let's restock or put more stock rather in the other one. What else? Anything else? Popsicles. There we go. Popsicles. Perfect. Okay. Uh, Roman, I've got a job for you. Head out in the truck, man, and go get the ice cream. And while you're doing that, I'm going to set up the restocks on the beer because people are probably going to want a lot of that. Now, here's another question. Do we close at any point? Is, is does, does Madison Robert go home at any point? I've got like a that's an event thing. Manage employees. Paint. I'll get to decorating later. You don't even worry about that. If I did event discount, what is this? Like oh, discount items. Oh, that's kind of cool. So, all right, we'll, we'll think about that later. We'll definitely do some kind of discount thing. But do we ever close? Is this a 24-hour place? I mean, it might be. Absolutely could be. Um, I don't know how you're staying up all night, but... You don't really do that much to begin with. Oh, the cops are back. The cops are back. This one's bought a lime and just a lime. Okay. Interesting choice for a midday snack, but that's fine. It might be midday. It might be the middle of the night. I have no idea. I'm assuming it's midday because it's still light out, but I'm still not sure if we ever close. Ah, you're restocking the watermelons. Right. Because we don't have many left. You can clearly see that. Are you going to get on the ice cream thing at any point, Roman? And do I, I should probably just send it out to get items? I'm going to need another truck. That's going to be the thing. And that ain't cheap. There's another 11K right there. There's all my money. Roman's stocking up the ice cream, though, which is excellent. What are we um, What are we actually charging for that kind of thing? And actually, while I'm looking at it, and I'm looking at a dead stinking fish here, what kind of things... All right. These apples are going to expire on the 21st of August. And right now, I would assume that it's it's the... Well, it's the 11th. So we've got more than another week on that and that's the first thing that's going to expire okay hopefully people will buy lots and lots of apples so what i'm seeing immediately is obviously more variety hopefully more non-perishables because i'm concerned about the fruit and veg going off i'm going to need another truck and i'm probably going to need another stock employee uh, there's nothing new to get right now that's good I mean, Roman's just one man with bad posture. There's only so much he can do. And Lord knows Madison Robert isn't checking in to help out or anything. She's just kind of hanging out over here. But I think that's an excellent place to call it on Market Tycoon 
for today. Guys, do please let me know what you're thinking of this. I'd like to kind of plug along just a little bit longer. I'd like to flesh out the store a little bit, see what we can do with Market Tycoon, but do please let me know what you're thinking of it in the comments below. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. Uh, oh, they're stealing Jurgen! They're stealing Jurgen again! Once again, Jurgen is the Aquaman of our colony! Wait, I, can I take off my mohawk? Hang on. I can take off my mohawk. I'm wearing a wig. Oh, I got an achievement for decorating. It's about time, video game world. I have a cylinder. <laughs> <laughs> I, I broke Dave. Dave. <laughs> broke Dave. <laughs> uh, talk about yourselves, I'll be back. <laughs> uh, I just dropped my controller. <laughs> oh my goodness.